In this video, I want to share my screen and show you how we can add a shape divider in between two sections uh, using the library that SuperMic has so kindly shared with us in the Oxygen's Facebook group. Here I have a test page that has uh, two sections and I would like to add the divider, shape divider in between the two sections here. So to get started, we need to go to Oxygen and Settings, Library, Enable third party design sets, Add design set and let's copy this site key, paste here and add source site. Okay, so now we go to the visual editor and uh, click on add and then library design sets and it is not here so when you have the visual editor already open uh, and you have added the key you just need to do a refresh make sure that you save your changes if you have any unsaved changes Okay, so in the structure panel, I'm making sure that I have the top section selected because the new section that we are going to add will get added uh, below this. So essentially in between these two. So let's go to add and library, design sets and oxygen for fun. Sections and elements and heroes and titles. And here you can see all these shape dividers that we can add. So let's say we pick this one. I'm going to click on this. And that uh, gets added. It adds a new section having a code block. So the first thing we need to make sure is that uh, we change the, the fill color of this uh, SVG to match the background color of the section that we have below. Okay, so I just grabbed the hexadecimal color code for the background of this particular section. I'm going to go inside the code block and uh, go to CSS. And here you can see for this SVG, I'm going to replace this existing fill color with the background color of my the bottom section. So let's save it. Go back here and reload. And here, that's it. We have got the shape divider. Um, let us see how we can reduce this vertical gap uh, in between the top section and the, the shape divider. So if I inspect this area with Chrome developer tools, So I see that uh, the shape divider section has got a top padding of 75 pixels. So I'm going to see if that is going to actually make a difference if we remove the top padding by setting the top padding to zero in here. So as you can see that really didn't make any difference here. So there is no point in we doing this change uh, in oxygen okay so what else could it be let's go inside okay so all right how about we remove the bottom padding for the top section so for this top section if I set the padding at the bottom to zero you can see that that basically removes that extra space that we didn't want. So we'll just go back here, select the top section, go to advanced, size and spacing and set this to zero. Save it, come here and reload. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see how this looks at uh, different breakpoints. So when we are at 1120 uh, pixels and below, uh, I would like the height of this shape divider to be uh, lesser. Right now it kind of looks too tall. So let me start inspecting this shape divider. And if I select this SVG, you can see that uh, the height is set to 200 pixels. So what we can do is we can copy this particular selector and change this height to something uh, else like say 100 or 150 when we are at 1120 pixels and below so let us first test that by adding a css rule inside the chrome developer tools so i'm going to click on one of the css files it really does not matter it can be oxygen.css or universal.css so because it is just a temporary thing for testing I'm going to click on that and go to the very bottom and write a media query like that and put in the CSS selector and change the height to say 150 pixels Okay, as you can see that has been overridden by this particular CSS that has been added to the code block. I mean that which is coming from the code block. So what we can do is to make it more specific by simply adding the body uh, selector. And now we can see that the shape divider looks a little flatter and better. So let's copy this CSS and go to uh, and add that inside the website. Now if you want you can add that inside this code block or you can put it in the uh, global style sheet. But if you're gonna use this divider just on a single page it makes sense to put that directly inside the code blocks uh, CSS area. So I've just done that. okay so just to test that i can now refresh and yeah that's fine so let's take a look at the other breakpoint which is 992 and below and that's okay the other is 768 yeah i would like this to be uh not so tall at 768 and below so we'll just uh, repaste that earlier media query and uh, change that uh, max width to 768 pixels and let's change this height to 100 pixels save come back refresh and that is better And if you notice uh, something, you can see that uh, this particular section also has a height set. Uh, because of that, we see a lot of white space. So we could we could affect that as well. So I'm going to copy that selector and say I want that height to be 200 pixels from 768 pixels and below.
okay so that is better so let's go to the other breakpoint which is 480 so I'm gonna change this width to 480 and I would let I would also like to reduce the height of this at 480 so I'm gonna copy that CSS paste here change this to 480 and we'll change this height to 50 pixels and this one we can probably change to a 100 pixels save come back refresh and yeah there you go Alright, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, don't forget to say thanks to Mike in the Facebook group. Bye for now.